Ever wondered what would happen if you tried to play Monopoly with real buildings and the government was your opponent? Well, let's dive deep into this high-stakes game of real-life Monopoly, where the players are none other than the Trump Empire and the New York Fraud Law. Imagine rolling the dice in this game where Trump Tower, Mar-a-Lago, and a plethora of other real estate properties are up for grabs. This isn't your average game night. It's a battle between a business empire and the law. Now let's take a look at our first player. The Trump Empire, a business behemoth with its roots stretching deep into the heart of Manhattan, is a force to be reckoned with. It's an empire that spans real estate, golf courses, hotels, and more, built brick by brick by the Trump family. It's a powerhouse, a titan of industry, an empire that has grown over decades. But every empire has its challenges, and for the Trump empire, it's the New York fraud law. This law, enacted to protect consumers and investors from fraudulent business practices, is a formidable opponent. It's like the unexpected chance card that can turn the game on its head. Under this law, any misrepresentation or deceit in business transactions could lead to serious penalties. It's the equivalent of landing on the go-to-jail square in Monopoly. No get-out-of-jail-free card can save you here. So, what happens when these two titans clash? It's a battle of wits and strategies, a contest where the stakes are high and the consequences even higher. It's a game that could result in the loss of properties, financial penalties, and even possible jail time. So if Trump was playing Monopoly, he might just have landed on the go-to-jail square. But wait, this isn't a board game, is it? You know, they say Trump wrote The Art of the Deal, but some folks in New York seem to think he was practicing the art of fraud instead. Now we're not saying that Trump's version of the art of the deal is akin to a magician's handbook, but it does make one wonder whether the ace up his sleeve was a bit too... fraudulent. As it stands, the Empire State's legal eagles are scrutinizing Trump's business empire, and let's just say, they're not playing around. Imagine if Monopoly's bank error in your favor card was a business strategy. Sounds ridiculous, right? Well, some think Trump took this board game too seriously. Allegations of inflating assets here, deflating liabilities there, it's like a financial game of Twister. One wrong move, and the whole thing could come crashing down. Now let's be clear, this isn't a game of pin the fraud on the donkey. These are serious allegations. If they hold up, they could mean real consequences. We're talking more than just a slap on the wrist. More like a game of snakes and ladders, where you've just landed on the biggest snake and it's a long slide down. But it's not all doom and gloom. After all, Trump is no stranger to the courtroom tango. He's got a team of legal hawks who could give Perry Mason a run for his money. And remember, in the court of law, it's not about what you know, it's about what you can prove. This whole saga reads like a John Grisham novel, doesn't it? Only time will tell whether Trump's art of the deal was a masterstroke of business acumen or a well-executed illusion worthy of Houdini. Or perhaps it's just another chapter in the never-ending saga of Trump versus the world. Well, who knew the art of the deal might come with a complimentary get-out-of-jail-free card? Now, the Trump empire isn't just going to roll over and play dead. They've got their own chance cards up their sleeves. Picture, if you will, a towering game of Monopoly, with Trump himself as the top hat and the New York fraud law as the banker. The stakes? Trump Tower. The game? Well, it's hardly child's play. Trump's legal team, a group of sharp-suited, sharp-witted individuals, are not going to take these allegations lying down. No, they're going to come out swinging, like a boxer in the final round with nothing to lose. They'll be throwing legal jargon and constitutional arguments around like confetti at a wedding, hoping something sticks. Now imagine the courtroom drama. Trump, larger than life, striding into the courtroom, hair immaculate, tie longer than the list of allegations against him. He takes the stand, his voice echoing around the room as he declares, Your Honor, I am innocent. The prosecution, unimpressed, responds with a barrage of evidence, each piece more damning than the last. Trump's legal team fights back, their words as sharp as their suits. They toss around phrases like unconstitutional witch hunt and political vendetta, trying to paint a picture of their client as the victim. But the judge, a stern figure clad in black, is having none of it. He bangs his gavel, silencing the room. 
Order. Order in the court, he cries, his voice a thunderclap. Trump, not used to being silenced, looks taken aback. But this isn't The Apprentice. This is real life, and in real life, the judge has the final say. And so the courtroom drama continues, a high-stakes game of legal cat and mouse. We can only watch, popcorn in hand, as the battle of the century unfolds before our very eyes. So Trump might say, Your Honor, I object, but the judge might just reply, Overruled. And also, this isn't a TV show. And as the gavel falls, we wait with bated breath to see who will be the victor in this game of Monopoly. So will Trump be saying checkmate, or will it be a stalemate? Let's find out. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of this legal tussle, we see two possible outcomes, triumph or a tie. Now, we're not talking about the kind of tie you'd find in Trump's wardrobe, oh no. We're talking about a stalemate, a deadlock, a draw. On one hand, we could see Trump coming out on top, brandishing his king and yelling, checkmate. He could emerge victorious, his empire intact, and continue to reign over his concrete jungle like the king of a Monopoly board. But let's not forget, folks, this is not just a game of Monopoly. This is real life. And in real life, there are no get-out-of-jail-free cards. You can't just trade in your luxury hotels for little green houses when the going gets tough. On the other hand, we could see a stalemate. The legal battle could drag on and on, with no clear winner. Trump's empire could remain in limbo, caught between the jaws of the New York fraud law and his indomitable will to win. And while the lawyers wrangle over the finer points of the law, Trump could be left pacing the corridors of his golden tower, wondering if he'll have to swap his penthouse for a game of Monopoly. So as we stand on the precipice of uncertainty, we're left to speculate. Will Trump's empire crumble under the weight of the law, or will he manage to hold his ground? Will he be left with a board full of hotels, or will he be left holding a handful of Monopoly money? And as we wait for the dice to roll, remember, in real life, there's no bank error in your favor. Stay tuned for the next episode of As the Trump Tower Turns.